Welcome to CVSRP Research YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to explain about the AutoCAD software introduction. So the term, you know, the CAD, everyone knows that is a computer aided drafting and design. This software is used for the civil engineers to draw a plan of the building. The term CAD is a computer aided drafting design which applies to a wide range of programs that allow the user to create the drawings or plans and designs electronically. For suppose if you see why it is a famous uh, in the world is it is only because of relatively easy to use and it is very comprehensive in its ability to create 2D drawings as well as 3D drawings. It is very popular uh, for drawing of any type of buildings. Even 70% of CAD users are in the world use AutoCAD software. So by using this software, we can do a lot of things, especially for the civil engineers. And in this course, whatever I'm going to explain the AutoCAD software. So in this software, first I will uh, start with the introduction part of AutoCAD software. So along with the basic tools, which one we used for the civil engineering projects, especially the live projects, whatever we are going to do in the outside. What are the tools we will use in the software? And this is followed by an introduction to the application and the concept of civil as well as architectural drafting using the AutoCAD software. So at the end of this software, we have to do, even you have to, as a student level, or you are a beginner of the AutoCAD software, you will be able to use the AutoCAD commands to draft any civil or architectural layouts as well as dimension in the drawing, and you have to insert the symbols and you can insert the text as well as you can insert the blocks as well as the attributes to your drawing and you can manage the sheets as well as uh, you can create some layouts and also you can use the external references and the inputs and you can plot the drawing and you can create the rendered view maybe in 3d views of any building uh, project so uh, if you see uh, this software this is a interface of autocad software here you can see a start drawing option is there. So if you want to start, you simply click on the start drawing option. Or if you want to open the previous drawings, whatever uh, you've done previously, you simply click on here, open files. And if you want to a uh, sheet set, you simply click here. And if you need the templates of this user, user face, you can simply click the, here the template, you can find out in online. And also the sample drawings, whatever previously executed in the AutoCAD software, you simply click on here, explore the sample drawing. And this list, whatever it is showing here, these are the recent documents previously, whatever you've done on the AutoCAD software, it simply shows uh, here. And you can simply go to the down option and you can see what are the previous drawings are there here and simply check here. And now these are the uh, toolbars. Anyway, once I will start the drawing and I will tell you. So simply now click on start drawing. So once if you click on the drawing, it will show the like this. So this is a interface of AutoCAD software where you can see the right portion here. This is the directions. But suppose uh, when you are planning a building, for suppose maybe it is a two BHK or three BHK or duplex or whatever it may be, it is a G plus five structure or G plus two or G plus three. First of all, uh, in the plan, in the 2D plans, whatever we are going to do, you can uh, make the dimensions properly. Here you can see the north side direction, the south and east, west. And here you can see the system WCS and new ECCS are there. If you want to change, you simply click on like this. It will be changed. See how it is rotating. Okay. So like this, it will be uh, rotate whatever you need. Uh, that's why uh, if you want to fix these directions, when you like north is the top and south is the bottom, and uh, east is like this right side and west is the left side. You can fix it like this only. And here, whatever you are doing the drawing, here this one is a drawing sheet you can see in model. There is one other option here at the bottom, the layout. This layout is nothing but once you double click on here, it will show you the model, whatever you've done. So once if you fix the drawing and you can give the layout for this one, simply double click on outside, it will show the exact drawing which you, are, you can deliver to the site. So like that, you can create a number of the layouts by simply click on plus symbol. 
okay now we will come back to the model yeah now if you see it is having some grids okay and if you want to remove these grids use f7 function key okay you simply click on f7 it will be off if you want to again you want to on the grid lines simply simply click on f7 so before going to the function keys and the commands and all other things the first thing you have to learn what is this toolbar sometimes we call it as a ribbon okay once i will start from introduction part here so if you click on at the left portion the right side it will show you different types of the options for suppose if you want to click on new it will show you what is a drawing for suppose if you want to create a new drawing first create a new one and if you want to open the second one you can open the previous drawing okay and if you want to save the drawing whatever it done simply click on save option here otherwise you can click control s if you want to save as the previous drawing with another name or the current drawing with another name simply click on save as and you can export the drawing and here the most important thing for suppose everyone knows for suppose if you uh, doing something in word file that is maybe dot doc if you are doing it if you are converting from word to pdf maybe that file name is we call it as a dot pdf same like that in autocad software also we have a dot dwg file we call it as a dot dwg file that's why you can see dwg file is there okay you can simply check here and if you want to uh, publish it's one no need and uh, the print option but once if you draw on the plot whatever you done the drawing you simply click on the plot option you can simply close it so these are the so he, it is asking clearly save changes to drawing if you want you can save otherwise you simply click on cancel okay yeah so now i want to save this drawing first of all before going to start any drawing simply i want to save this one and it will ask you the location now i kept the location drawing 1 dwg 1 for suppose otherwise you can uh, by easily understanding for easily recognition you can simply give the project name okay and click on save now it it is save you know before going to the project first you can learn what are the commands are available you can see in the ribbon it is showing we call it as a ribbon or toolbar in the home insert annotate parametric view manage output adds in a360 express tools as well as future apps these are the these are the express tools bim360 as well as uh, performance okay now i will come with the home once if you come to the home option in the toolbar it is asking n number of the commands i will tell you one thing before going to draw you can use for suppose if you want to draw a small line for suppose there is a line is there okay line what is a line it creates a straight line segments for suppose if you want to create the line you simply click on line for suppose i will click and i will draw a line like this okay and click on escape but thing is that sometimes what happens always going to here and find out a line and simply click on it's in in real time project it takes lot of time that's why there is another option called the com command prompt so here this is a command prompt simply you can find out the commands for suppose line is there for line there is one command like l for a circle if you want to draw a circle there is a command c if you want to draw a rectangle there is a command rec so like that we have different types of the commands are there like uh, you know in the commands also we have two types like draw commands as well as the modify commands in the draw commands whatever you want to draw whatever you are going to draw of the project any type of real time box you simply use the draw commands if you want to uh, modify the drawing for suppose like if you want to cut or if you want to trim or if you want to extend the line we will use the modify commands yeah so come back to the o oh, here it is showing some draw commands here first uh, before going to start any command i will show you the thing what are the available commands are there i will explain with you 
The first one is the line command, uh, which, one, which we used to create a line. And second one is the polyline, uh, which we create a 2D polyline. Uh, it was connected with the sequence of segments created as a single planar object. For suppose we have n number of uh, straight lines are there. Okay, so maybe sometimes some arc segments are there, sometimes combination of arcs as well as straight lines. We use polymer, which creates in a single line. Okay, the command for this one also, whatever we are going to use in command prompt, that is a PL. Next, one more option is circle. So in this circle, if you want to draw a circle, if you want to create a circle using the center point or using the radius, whatever it may be, we have two types are there. When you want to draw a circle, use a center point and fix the diameter. Or if you know the radius, you fix the radius. You can enter a radius, how much radius is there. Uh, you can see the, the beautiful circle, whatever we got. Next one is arc. For suppose in the arcs also, if you want to create an arc by using the three points, uh, simply click on the arc uh, command in the command prompt. You simply click on and you can get that one. And one more thing is a rectangle. So in the rectangle is, uh, which one, uh, if you want to draw a rectangle, you simply enter in the command prompt REC and you can give, if you know the dimensions, simply give the width as well as the length of the rectangle once, from one side. Otherwise, if you want to draw a rectangle uh, with the area, whatever you know the rectangle. Suppose if you want to draw a rectangle, you can simply draw. Or suppose 20 mm square or 20 meter square rectangle area you need, simply enter the area of that one. So you can uh, do like that. Uh, this one is a hatch, hatch one. Sometimes if you want to fill a solid uh, drawing like this, whatever uh, it is showing in the view, if you want to fill this one, maybe sometimes it is a brick or concrete, we don't know. If you want to showcase, uh, if you want to show which type of drawing is that, uh, you can simply use the hatch command. The command is HA. And uh, these are the split line tree, the SP line, SP line CV. Anyway, uh, we will discuss in detail uh, while drawing any uh, real time work. The construction line means uh, which one, if you want to draw the horizontal lines as well as the vertical lines or the entire window, you can use this one with an infinite length. Okay, and you can uh, see some of the options are here. And uh, the one more important thing, there is an option, uh, revision cloud is the which one most important thing for the real-time process, which we, had, we, done, we executed in the sites. This revision drawing, whatever you're observing here in this uh, view, you can see this one, revision, again, rectangle and the polygon, as well as the freehand revision. For suppose, if you see that one like this, whatever you are observing here. Now I will draw like this, you see. Yeah. We will uh, see, we will uh, click on the revision cloud like this, wait for a while. Yeah, so how it is uh, showing here. Okay, so in this one, in the revision cloud, for suppose when the drawing is there, now I will see polyline. So how it look like. So, and click on escape on remove that part. Yeah, so here, uh, if you see the command, if you want to change any type of drawing, you can simply change this one. And here, the one more options, the modify commands, for suppose, if you want to move, or if you want to copy, or if you want to uh, cut, you can use all the parameters, whatever it is showing here, move, rotate, as well as stream, as well as a copy, as well as mirror, as well as uh, fillet options are there, as well as explode options are there, as well as stretch options are there, as well as scale if you want to change, everything is there here. And if you want to draw a text, the text option is there. If you want to give the dimensions, simply click on dimensions option. Uh, if you want to show, change the colors, so here you can observe the different types of the colors. Yeah, so like that, you can see a lot of things here. Uh, some of the express tools which we use for the break lines and all other things. Yeah, this is the user interface, what I am explained still now, completely the simply in simple user, uh, what is the interface of the AutoCAD software. 
in the next class i will explain regarding how to draw a line how to draw a polyline how to, how to draw a circle how to draw a rectangle how to cut and how to move and all other things we will learn in the next unit thank you so much